Just have more patience and understanding. A plea from the spouse of one of the thousands of men and women working to restore power across the region. The linemen power the world. I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be where we're at. Sarah Andrews last saw her husband three days ago. She says he's been bouncing around the Portland metro area trying to get the lights back on. It's been nerve-wracking, to say the least. He could get hurt really bad, and I wouldn't know until I got a phone call from one of the power companies because I'm down for his emergency contact. So when your phone rings, you're like constantly wondering, okay, is he okay? Is everything okay? Did everything go okay? So much runs through Andrew's mind when her husband's on a job because it's so dangerous. Travis Erie of Local 125 explains the dangers go well beyond working with energized wires. Ice and snow has a huge factor of weight and load um, that if you're not watching that as you're trying to restore, you can end up having somebody hurt on simple applications, far less even the energized uh, sections of what our job can, entails. So. It's it's everything, slips, trips, falls. Erie says the linemen are sometimes working in awful conditions and on little to no rest. It just depends on the job. They're not going to pull off a job if they're close to restoring. So many times it goes past 16 hours. If anybody understands that, it's Sarah Andrews, whose husband has been working around power lines for more than a decade, often with no appreciation. And this time around, she says, is no different. I'm seeing the lack of appreciation, I guess. And it makes me sad because they're out there working their butts off for us to be able to have our power. Andrews is hoping those without power can show a little compassion for those trying to restore it. I get that it's an inconvenience, but these guys are putting their lives on the line, just like all the other first responders. All right, something else to keep in mind. These linemen are working in the middle of a pandemic. They're working in close proximity to one another, and they have not been vaccinated. Another example of just how dedicated they are to getting us, myself included, powered up. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.